It's often thought that mathematicians do their best work when they're young, and Newton certainly did some very, very fine work when he was still in his early 20s. Uh, during the 1670s, he put mathematics aside really for about 10 years and not because he was any less able to do it, but because his interests had moved elsewhere, I think. He spent those years really working on alchemy and theology and those became his overriding interests until in the 1680s he came back to some of his earlier interests uh, through thinking about problems of gravitation and the work that eventually then led into the Principia. So there was another burst of mathematical activity during the early 1680s while he was writing the Principia. And that was certainly no less creative or powerful than the work he'd done in the 1660s. I mean, that was magnificent work by any standards. And of course, that's the work that really made Newton's name at the time because the calculus wasn't then known. After that, he continued to do mathematics, but during the 1690s, he gradually stopped. And in fact, he moved to the Mint during the 1690s and moved out of Cambridge and began to be a man of the world rather than a man of Cambridge University and Lucasian professor of mathematics. Um, I wouldn't say he lost his powers. I've never seen anything that Newton's done that indicated a loss of powers, but I think his priorities moved elsewhere in later life.